Hey guys, our 19th topic is .NET classes and objects. Now this is very important. If you get similar kind of a question where you must know if you write dot substring what happens, if you write last index of what happens, if you write dot rim what happens, if you write dot replace what happens, what should be the output. So you need to actually know a lot of different expressions before you get into the exam. So how I am going to help you? I am going to help you with a lot of different expressions which you must prepare before you get on to the exam. So let's get started without wasting any further time. So the first one will be learning about the split text. For this I have taken a variable and I, am, I have created a variable called text and in that what I, I have stored, I have stored hello world with a okay hello world with an exclamation mark at the end. Then there is an output variable this is a array type if you see this is a array type because when you split it will become multiple output would come so that has to be stored in a array type okay this is the basics so once this is done let's understand the expressions so here look at the very first expression okay and before you get started i would request you to have a notebook beside you and keep writing all the expressions and once you are done, you should revise it at least three to four times so that everything get printed in your mind. So let's get started. So the first one, what I'm doing, split text comma, and then I'm giving a space. So it, it could be any character because my example is hello space world. If you see, look at it, hello space world. I would like to split by the space. So when you split, how many output would come? Hello and world. So that is the expression for the first one okay so the output of this will be hello and word so what i am doing i am printing the first output by writing the index number zero and i am printing the second output by writing the index number one is it clear so i am going to run it so there are multiple such expressions we are going to run some of them okay so once you get a hint of it you will be able to understand rest of it okay so what is the output would come in the first one the output would come as hello Look at it. Hello. And the second one has come. World. Okay. I'll stop it. Now let's learn the next expression. Okay. What is the next expression that I should learn? Look at it. So the next expression, if you see text dot split, how I am splitting the space because I would like to split by space. This is a different format. You can also write dot to character array. This is another format. Make a note of this. Okay. It will give you the same output. Okay, we will see that output. There's also a third format of writing it. Okay, let me show you. Instead of writing dot to char array, you can simply write C. This also will give you the same output. Getting it? So let's quickly run it and see all the three outputs. So until here, we should see. I will pause it after that. Okay, there are multiple such expressions you must learn. Okay, the first one, hello world. The second format will also give you the same output and the third format will also give you the same output. So I'm going to stop it here. Okay. So um, these things we have learned until here we have learned. Okay. Now look at this one, the next uh, style. Let's say I would like to directly take the first index instead of uh, writing in two different right line activity. I would like to directly show the output or directly assign the output. So what is the expression that I should write? Simply I should write text dot split. This is the shortest way of writing. And then I am writing zero. Let's say I want one, then I can say one dot two string. Okay. So this is the format. Make a note. This is the expression. Make a note. Okay. All right. If you, if I need the first one, then this is the expression. All right, the hello will be printed in this one. What is the output? What would be the output of this one? World with colon mark. Okay, so let's debug it. So this is easy. You need to uh, practice it once on your UAPA studio uh, with a similar example and make a note because you might forget tomorrow. Okay, so look at it. Hello world, hello world, hello world. Okay, this is about splitting. We're splitting by space, splitting by comma, splitting by colon, or splitting by a hyphen. All these things can be done. Okay, any symbol you would like to do or space. All right, splitting by any character doesn't matter. It could be also alphabet. You, if you put an alphabet there, 
wherever it finds the alpha will split it okay so doesn't matter what it is it's going to split that's it now let's move on to the next topic what is the next one you must learn the next one is substring substring means there's an entire string from which i just want i don't want to split it right i don't want all the outputs i just want a specific output from an entire string a specific output getting it that is known as substring part of the string understood remember this, this way substring means part of the string okay so let's for this what example i have taken i have taken the same variable text and here i have written hello world and here the output variable is not going to be an array this has to be a string variable because the output only will remain a part of a string which is a single text in the split there will be multiple outputs so here the output will be stored in a string variable rather than an array okay clear now let's look at the expression the first expression you must make a note how i am writing the text variable dot substring what is this zero zero is your start index remember people think zero to three means from zero to three no no no, no. zero is your start index and three is your length what is this start index and three is your length so how do you get this if so if you simply type put a parenthesis there you tell it tells you the first integer what you are going to write it's a start index as integer okay for example i am writing zero then i will put a comma then what it's saying if you put a comma then next integer that you are going to mention that is a length okay so here i am saying length should be let's say five let's say i'm saying five click on okay so what would be the output of this let's see that so i'm writing this output in the right line soon after that i am going to pause it okay okay so you can see the output has come as hello so i am taking the first so any integer starts from the index number 0 so 0 to length is 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 you count and give me the output that is the meaning of a substring okay this much you have understood now let's look at the second expression okay how it can be written so text uh, dot substring 1 2 3 so 1 means the h was starting from the index number 0 now because i am saying 1 it will start from e till the length of 3 so what should be the output of this let's have a look so i'm writing the output in this right line okay so i'll stop it so the execution anyways will start from the beginning okay okay oh, sorry i stopped it much before that okay so what should be the output you tell me what it should be e l l okay three three length should be three right so the output should come e l l look at it look at it let me stop it so you can see the output has come as e l l getting it okay now let's quickly go through rest of the expressions okay um now um, now tell me the output you have to tell me the output okay now this one this is to fetch substring from the end so now what we are doing from this you are mentioning an index number and from there it is going towards the right and counting the length and giving you the output what if you want to do the reverse way so here what i am doing i am saying text length so what this text length will do it will give you how many total number of characters are there including your space it will count everything minus six minus six means it will from let's say the text length is 12 so from 12 from the last one hello world the last character from there it will count reverse wise so minus six so this is the format to get the reverse wise okay data okay so we'll see the all these outputs now let's look at the um, another substring okay sometimes um, there will be a fixed format okay it's it is applied for the fixed format let's say it's a ticket number one two three four five hyphen um, ticket tkt or something is like that so you don't want this one you just want this output one two three four five okay and this number of characters remains constant let's say only when you should go for this syntax what is the syntax let me show you the syntax i am saying left of text up to five character so whatever the text is there one two three four five so first five characters you give me the output from the left that is the meaning okay let's look at make a note of all this okay let's look at another let's say your data is in this format tkt one two three four five. your numbers are there on the right hand side so you need the right side data so for that how do you write very simple again right so it will count from right five 
4, 3, 2, 1. So write text to 5. So we'll see all these outputs. Okay. So make a note of that. Okay. So let's run it and see the output. So all this expression I'm giving you at one uh, go so that you can make a note and then practice. Okay, so all this output should come 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let's see. Hello, we have seen ELL, we have seen length. It is giving the length 12. Okay, then from 12 minus 6, I have done no. So, wall it has given. Then left, I have done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then right, I have done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do you see? So, all the required outputs have come. Okay, let's move on to our next set of uh, uh, expressions. So, what is that I am going to teach you? We are going to learn. Um, trim okay in trim also there are multiple things people just think you can only trim the space no you can also trim the characters okay so how to do that let's see first of all um, what kind of a input i have taken i have taken an input with a space okay space in the front space at the back if you look at my data hello before that there is a space world after that there is a space and in between there is a space okay there are three spaces so what this trim basically do it will remove the space before the word after the after the string okay if there are any extra spaces it's going to re remove it that is the job of a trim but we can also do few more things with the trim okay i'm going to show you and the output will be single string okay so it's not an array it's a string okay now let's look at the expression so the expression text or trim means if there are any spaces it's going to remove so if i run this there were spaces now those spaces from the front and the end it is going to be removed and the output would come as hello world so look at it i'm going to stop it so hello world has come okay okay got it now let's look at the sec next expression okay the next expression i am saying text dot trim and i am saying with space i am saying okay space hello if you find in my string in this text if you find space hello remove it okay dot two character array so if i do this what would happen the output would come as space world colon space so let's run it so i'm writing the output in the next line so text dot trim and then i'm giving that what i would like to remove okay this is also another way of removing a word look at it world has come okay let me stop it did you see so hello has been removed and the output has come as world okay the output has come as what the hello has been uh, removed okay um, uh, from the beginning now let's look at some more practical examples okay text dot trim hello so you have made a note of how to remove a so this has a space so i have given us that is mandatory you can't um, how the word is starting right the starting if it is starting with a space then that space also has to be there if not this is not going to work clear let's move on to our next expression what is the next expression text dot trim i am removing the colon mark mark from the end of that so if you see the output the same format is that i'm putting the colon mark and then i have also have given a space this is also important okay simply by giving a colon mark it don't work whatever that last is there they exactly have to provide so if you see the colon mark from the output has been removed because of that expression okay great now let's move on to our next expression let's say this is very important this will be more practical Let's say there will be incidents, right? I N C or it will be written T K T uh, depends. So let's say there is an incidence T K T 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It could be anything 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, doesn't matter. So you don't know the length of that uh, rest of the numbers. But you know T K T would continue every time. Or sometimes you have seen I N C, I N C incident, right? I N C will continue a request, R E Q, that will continue every time in a ticket number. Now, if that happens, right? The how do I remove this TKT? I just want that number. I don't want the TKT, let's say. So for that, this is such an important expression. You can make a note. Okay. There are multiple ways to do it again. So I will show you another two different ways, but make a note of this expression. Text dot trim. And I'm saying TKT dot two character array. So the same thing, right? Text dot trim. And I'm just writing the TKT. So it is going to find if there's a TKT, it's going to remove. We saw that example also. Now, there is also another expression I am going to show you. What is that another expression you can write? You can also do text dot trim start. Okay. This is the, this is the word you should remember. Trim start. So, from the starting, if there is any word called TKT, it is going to remove that. 
okay now let's let's take another example let's say this is a ticket something you know reverse manner 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then tkt is coming let's say okay so you want to remove it from the end okay if you want to trim it from the end then all you have to mention trim end like trim start trim end these are the things you should remember trim end tkt two characters format remains the same just that the uh, method name is different trim end trim start trim trim start trim end okay so let's run it and see the output of all three okay so getting it right are you making a note this is important you without making a note and without you practicing at least once will be a difficult thing okay so please do it hello world world let us remove that colon mark okay then one two three four five six has come from the normal trim it has done a left trim one two three four five six and right trim one two three four five six okay so all the output has come properly now let's learn few more things okay in one package i'm giving you a lot of expressions please do make a note now for this one let's see what text i have taken i have taken the text hello world only and the output is a string okay fine so let's learn the first expression replace so replace means word what i want to replace a certain uh, in a string certain word or certain set of words with something else right like control f uh, like we do in a word document how do you replace it so text dot replace so i wanted to replace world with rakesh so what would happen the output would come as hello rakesh right so let's see that okay so what should be the output the output will come as hello rakesh okay hello rakesh so it has replaced that world with the this one okay now let's let's look at other couple of expressions okay now the next expression text dot remove five what is it five what is this five so if you do not get what is this all you have to do simply put a parenthesis and then you would it tells you start index as integer so text dot remove what, what, what the starting index okay so let's say the starting index i am pro providing as five let's say so what would, what would happen what would be the output of this so you saw the output i think uh, uh, text dot remove i did not write a right line so let me copy this and paste it and see the output okay so text dot remove you are trying to remove from the starting index okay let's see that so uh, hello rakesh and then hello so you can see uh, it has removed um, that one right remove from from the fifth onwards it has removed okay and then um, the another expression that i want to teach you is last index of what this do it tells you if a single character let's say comma where exactly that comma is there last index means in the entire string last time it could have have it could be there in multiple let's say comma 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 the last comma is where okay the last comma is exactly where okay for that last index of okay so last index if i do uh, you saw the output i think no i stopped it okay let's okay once again i did not write the right line copy so these are the important ones you must learn okay let's run it okay so there are so many expressions that you have learned please make a note and do practice few more things okay uh, make a uh, make some two pages on your notebook and keep writing all the different expressions that you could capture from multiple sources so this is one of one of them and then if you want to do search in microsoft.net page or anywhere you would like to search and write few more expressions it will be always great okay all right so what is the output uh, so the output uh, the that mark is there in the 11th position okay so this all this we have um, got to understand okay practice it and have your understanding built all right guys so thank you so much let's meet on to our next content bye bye